The old Alf, he uh, really outdid himself. America. What are you about to do? I'm about to whip some cookies in the old 372 beat. Come on. All right, forward here. Uh, he's got himself a nice 1983. 83. 83 Peterbilt 362. We figured out the three stands for the, the three wipers and the three visors in there. And then it's got that visor. That'll make some noise when you shoot through it. <laughs> Look at that guy. Big Peter, little Peter. There we go. New tires. What does it say on the side? Transport. Rock. What's it say? Rock, rock rand, pock rand, transport, Wisconsin. Oh, it's a, it's a scony. Duff, what are you doing under there? The mice are in here, pretty sure. So that trap set, so it was in there at one time. We got the deluxe ashtray, empty Napa fan, so you know that probably didn't even work for the ride home. The mice are clearly living in there. Look at all that glitter on there. It reminds me of when you used to be able to go see those things at those club places that are now closed. <laughs> Block of wood, we don't know what that's for. Custom. Look at that. You can you can roll down the shades for when you're, when you get her all pumped up and ready to do things you do with. Easy, what the? You? Nothing in there. It's a custom latch there with that. That's, oh, that's a latch. Oh, that's not a fan, that's a latch. Oh. Should've used some number nine. You can fit a six pack in there though. Look at that headliner. Woo! Is that one of those clap on, clap off lights? Custom Peterbilt seats. It's got a, a holder over here for your for your billy club. Nothing in the shag up the sides. Oh, this thing is this thing is pure sex appeal right here. Whoever gets this, this is gonna be a life-changing experience. Got the winter front. Oh, it's a it's a new old stock Peterbilt winter front. That thing's gotta be worth eight or nine dollars. The tire thumper, calibrated. Uh yeah, look at how they welded that grounder down all nice and smooth. That's that's good stuff there. Oh, no twice pipes. Just the old single, but she barks. January 83, date of manufacture. 98 cent fuel in this thing from 06, probably. Speaking of 06, 3406 Caterpillar. Ow! Nine speeds of fuller garbage. Look at the tread just, just growing right out of these tires. This thing is just gonna really just hook up and go the, that's why the cab so far forward is to, is to keep the traction from not going straight to the moon speaking of the moon he's got moonlights on the back for so you can keep an eye on the mud flap bandit make sure he's not back here obviously that worked this is uh forwards hogging trailer he brings home his ladies from the bar in this so a lot of elves in this thing. not for sale not for sale he's taking a break right now usually he makes Keebler goodies and help Santa out. And so he's taking some time off to give us a tour of his, of his nice 1983 Peterbilt 362 here. Oh, what is this? What is this? Here, surprise inside. Guess what's inside? What's Guess what's inside? Read it out loud for the folks on YouTube land. You're, what? La what? you're laughing already. <laughs> is it that good? <laughs> it's a damn good one. <laughs> okay, what is it? What kind of key won't open any door? A turkey. A monkey! <laughs> a monkey! <laughs> That's Boy, a knee slapper. Brandon the buyer. Bra get a kick Brandon. Look at this. Air ride seat. Air ride suspension. Air bag. No. That, that shift knob's <laughs> coming home with me. Look at that. Zero start and that decals from a Ford. Only 9,000 miles on this thing. Can you believe it? The steering wheel's all cracked up. The seat is just full of trucker farts. Look at that. Look at how her sack just wore right through the seat there. This thing in, in less than 10,000 miles, we're the thunk. 
I think there's something kind of what kind of neat in there, isn't there? There's what a, is in here? That, uh, I think there's a, a custom deal. Oh, oh yeah, there's the the red fire extinguishers are the best. That's why when the gate is at red, that means it's good. Washer fluid, or maybe that's the lube tube that goes inside. Who knows what that is? <laughs> to hold the fifth wheel handle open. Why would you need to hold? Look at the mice chewed that thing right off. We're gonna we're gonna throw some some batteries and some some sniff sniff some batteries and some Cosby sauce and this thing will be <laughs> ready to rip in no time. We're gonna drive around here. We're gonna lock the diffy in. Let her eat. Oh yeah, that thing's right freaking straight. Look at that. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's where we give her the old huff huff. Speaking of huff huff, there's Duff. Doesn't want to be on. Are you finding anything good? Just getting up in there. We already checked it out. There's nothing good. Where's, All right. Where's FWB? FWB. Friend with benefits. Or the fat white friend of Duffy's. It does come with uh, the CB antenna. The CBN. Look at those. Add your own look system. at those cab lights too. Those are. Those need to go on your hogging trailer. <laughs> Speaking of hogging trailer, look at this hogging Yamaha that he's got here. Look at that's gonna be a whole nother episode right there. That gem. <laughs> he puts lights on everything. He's got them on the front of that. Got them on the top of the Bobcat. At least he's got some good equipment out here finally. <laughs> Avery, did you come to help? Did you come to help? Come here. Come here. Oh, not you. How's it going under there? It's peachy. Get low. Tell him now. All right. Let's do Peterbilt things now. Third time's a charm, right? You betcha. 60% of the time it works. Every Woo! time. It's, it's trying. We better get the sauce. Yep. <laughs> I'd like to thank Oak Napa for sponsoring us here on these excursions today. I'm gonna give her a little Cosby sauce. Get up in there. Let's go. Come on. We got butt trucking to do. Do it! Who wants it? More sauce! Yeah, baby! Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, no! Just how daddy likes it. Oh, no. Did you try jiggling the handle? Try turning it off, turn it back on again. Oh. Duffy, you're a lot of help. Some of the connections seem hot. Sure. They don't seem hot. Oh, they don't. Try tapping it again. Where's the starter at? Can we? Is there a solenoid on these things? Just give her the old tap, 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 roo. Pretty sure that's what this is for. Yep. I'm sure, I know who you're gonna make some in there. But Duffy doesn't know how to swing a hammer or what a starter is. And Avery is she's she's thick with two C's. I think you got to go back behind the rib right between the tire and the battery box is what it looks like. It's. Oh, it's down underneath. Oh, perfect. Mm. Once you slide under there, I'll grab your angles and pull you out. Best of luck. God, your will's up to date, right? I'm not uh, really thick. I'm not as thick as her, but I don't know if I'm gonna... Fit? Quite fit.
All right, you Cosby it then. You got the <laughs> you got the magic touch. Here we go. You might take them both, just in case. Just in case she wakes up. Do you need your ladder to get up there? Slingshot engaged. Come on, baby. What the French toast? Crosby sauce, Crosby. What if we, is it gonna make a difference pushing the pedal these both? It's that crappy yeah, it's the Napa Cosby sauce. Right. We need the good John Deere stuff. It's... We're gonna go try number 19 and a quarter. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, let her rip. Just like that. Holy buckets. She's alive. Well, that was easy. Let's give her a little more ether. Got oil pressure? Oh yeah. Got air pressure? No. <laughs> she sounds like uh like it wants it. 60 pounds of oil. Oh we're building there. Yeah, it'll go up to like 30 or 40 probably. Batteries are charging. Half tank of fuel, pack of cigarettes, six lattes, four hours of Chicago. Let's hit it. Got an air leak. What's that? What's that red? Is that fuel? Is that part of the, uh, it's, oh, it's a hydraulic oil. We tried jacking that up. Hey, we keep things legal here at Forward Farms. We don't use that red stuff in the truck. <laughs> Fast forward. Just don't check under the cap. <laughs> yeah, just... Look at that cute drive shaft loop. Oh yeah, that's push up roof. Get all up in there. Not impressed, are you, Duff? Oh, we're up to uh, 40 psi air pressure. Elf says he's gonna give her a whirl. A twist on it. I pushed the park brake in, so. Yeah, those brakes are stuck. Not good. We're gonna have to give her a tug. Good thing we got the golf cart with a hitch on it. That'll pull it right out. I have. Woo! Oh man, look at that majestic view. I'm sure somebody's gonna want to use that as their uh, desktop screensaver. We only had to take the hook off to fish the chain through to get her in there, but she's ready to go. Let's see if we got enough traction to. Out. Ooh! She is in. Those, the frame's twisting, but the tires are not. Just a bit of a hole. Oh! Just about! This ain't no uh, zip ties and bias flies. We're gonna get her in at least 19 or 20 tugs. Ah! Come on! This will, there you go, there you go. That extra three feet, that's gonna do it. Give her the meat and potatoes. Front tires are turning. Well, one of them is, oh yeah! Backs are turning. We just gotta get the brakes loose on that uh, first rear axle. Just that easy. How about that, kids? You just got the right equipment. A little ether, some new batteries, and a 400 horse tractor with triples on it. Not a problem. Well, let's get her up in the yard and see if we can't get those brakes on frozen and 
Whip some donuts. Here we go. Well, look at this peach now that we got her out of here. New batteries. Chain doesn't go with it. Oh, it looks better already. That visor, that's worth a couple of dollars right there. Those wheels, those were clearly aerosol overhauled shortly before it was parked. Like I said, those tires, they're, they're, they'll, they're growing on me. Literally growing. Just, just a little weather check. They're good. Nice match set though. Forward's going to uh, get the bolts so that we can screw into the brakes there. Back those off. We're gonna put her in gear. Let her eat, see what happens. What's the hub odometer say? Sure enough, only 9,000 miles on this thing. No wonder it's like new. Pristine. I wonder if Barrett Jackson takes trucks. Forward knows a lot about cans and T-bolts and twisting them off. So he's twisting them off, spinning it out. Here we go. Throw this bad boy in gear. Oh, you don't want it to. We're in, we're in no man's land. It's flat here. There's no. Hey, don't forget that shifter knob. That thing is. You, you should put that in a G body. We got her in the low low. It smells like the ether bunny in here. Neutral. Fire it up, see if it'll break it on its own. Brakes backed off. Chase the hotel. Right. Don't go in reverse, too hard. <laughs> Look at the hammer and tap on him. Yeah, they're stuck. We're gonna give her the old tap, 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 Peru. Oh yeah, we're going. What do you got going on there? When you need to tighten something or loosen something, you grab a crescent wrench. The Swedish when, nut lathe. <laughs> when you need a hammer on something, you grab anything. It'll work for hammer. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Get yourself a big crescent wrench. They work for everything. He's gonna hammer away on those drums and think they're gonna come loose, I guess. Avery is not a believer that this is gonna work. Why are you breathing so hard? What were you doing back there? Just trying to break the brakes loose. No bueno, he says. Uh, holy Jiminy Christmas! Real funny! We're gonna tug it around and see if we can not get them brakes to come loose. You can see them skidding back there. <laughs> Drug it up to the shop here. The elf's in his natural habitat. Tight spaces. Giving her a little heat. Let's see if we can't free that drum up. Then we're going for a rip. We even tested the lights. Oh, look at that view. We got a couple of chicken chasers out up top, but you're rolling. Little air hammer work. Unhook the chain, let's go whip some donuts. Hell yeah, brother! Turn the torch off. Little bit of heat, every time. And them air hammers, just hammers in general, but them air hammers, they's nice. Oh, I can't really see much, but... She's alive! Nope. <laughs> you can reach the pedals this way. Oh yeah. You're butt trucker now. We gotta get the air horn working too. 
<laughs> no, with no air pressure, it's gonna be hard to do. <laughs> we'll work on that. Seat not bumped up. <laughs> uh, look, like a, look like a super trucker Carson Allen this way, sitting with my ass <laughs> on the floor. Yeah, dang. Power steering even? No, I'm just that struck. <laughs> right. <laughs> I make it look easy. Got a little, little hitch in the giddy up. <laughs> yeah, you don't say it. Dude, I'm sure the filters a little plugged up. <laughs> we'll get a, we'll get a half mile away and she'll die. Ah, uh, it'll be a glorious walk. It's alive. So we're uh, thinking that the. Flames are coming from a blockage. Oh, oh boy, we got we got flameage in the air intake. Which, judging by the amount of mice we've seen this evening, that might be part of the issue. What if there's like a whole raccoon in there? <laughs> What's it gonna be? How many bushels of corn? She's a little chewy. <laughs> it was replaced in <laughs> February of 2000. Should be good. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> what are we seeing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that whole tube has got to be plugged. Oh my word. Holy shnikes. It's funny it even ran at all. Right? How did the ether even get to it? <laughs> what if that didn't, they didn't backfire and light the whole <laughs> Now what? Oh, oh you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Baby. You might need a pressure washer to get all the debris out of there. Note to self, don't worry about checking the oil. <laughs> check the air filter. <laughs> check for blockage. Just, just, just run it. We wasted our time gapping the plugs and cleaning the points out. <laughs> oh, this thing's gonna be so fast now. <laughs> oh, it's like rotted out! <laughs> oh, so much goodness! Yeah! Oh, there's a half of that mattress in there. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, that isn't even that bad. How are we going to get that all out of that intake tube? Right. I think we take just, yeah, I think we just take it off and let her suck. Yep. Yeah, she's going to eat now. I think we found our uh, air restriction. That's the intake tube. I don't think the ether was even getting there. What is that even? Just when they got fuel popped off. It's like wood. Ugh. Nice. She's gonna have all the horsepowers now. Well, the old elf, he uh, really outdid himself. America. What are you about to do? We're about to whip some cookies in the old 372 beat. Come on! He, he claims he's gonna be able to do it. Hold on, let me let me get my my coffee and my gloves. You you, you show us what you got.
your question right there, boys and girls. You can whip donuts in a 362 Peterbilt. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna top that. Check in next week for the adventures of Mortsky and Elf. <laughs> well, how's she rip? <laughs> Freaking great. <laughs> like a million bucks, like America. <laughs> like America. We're making cab overs great again here at Fast Forward Service. We just gotta get the decals on the door and we gotta get the horn to work and fix a couple of lights and then, then we'll be making cab overs great again. Look at this sweet peat. We're gonna need one out of the three wiper blades, but two out of three ain't bad. Oh, well, horns fixed, we're good to go there. We're gonna need to put a cover on that light. If anybody knows uh, the Rock Rand Transportation Boys from Loyal, Wisconsin, we got their original truck. Slight exhaust leak. Uh, forward's got some uh, tin Folgers cans. We're just gonna clamp over that. Fix it. Then we're going to get one of them big chrome tips off the interwebs. And uh, we got all the flowage right now, so it sucks in Canadian gooses and shoots it's out. out. <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> Freedom right there. Oh, man. She is a gem. Do you have the diffy locked in when you did it? I don't know. Said pay attention. I think it's been locked in the whole time. <laughs> I don't know. We That's what's next we got to do. What's better for, <laughs> for a cab over Pete? Donuts, diffy locked or not diffy locked? I notice your your preference is to only go in the one direction. Does does it go? I work the other way once. Like your old lady, does it go both directions? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go ask Marguerite in a little bit. <laughs> we'll polish up them mud flaps. We should probably do something better to secure them so the old mud flap bandit don't get a hold of them. Oh He's yeah. A sneaky one. Yeah, good old pressure washing and some. Aerosol overhaul. This thing will be ready for Barrett Jackson. <laughs> we got to put the CB in there yet too. What's what's gonna what's? Did you come up with a handle yet? Elf from Guelph. The really? Elf from Guelph. <laughs> short, short and skinny. <laughs> SNS transportation. So here's where we drug her out of. Forward said that his old lady says that's two inches. So those things are at least 20 inches deep there, where it was parked. That's, that's that's not red fuel. It's and there's the uh, exhaust tip slash exhaust pipe repair kit. In a, in a little bit deeper in the front than in the back. Now that's only about 14 inches back there, according to Ryan. What do you guys think? Should we uh, get the old 429 fired up next? Apparently it's propane, and there was a issue there hey what's it leaking uh don't worry about that see if the 429 will fire up next time let us know chime in should we put a turbo on it anybody ever seen a fuel truck do donuts hey has this thing got air brakes too it's got an air horn no does it I have no idea well let's see let's pop the trap Whoa. Air brakes! We can do it! Oh yeah, this will be easy. We just both on a quadra jet and put a rip tater chip. Avery's down. FWB! Well, I'm just gonna have to start driving a semi because he didn't chase us this time. <laughs> Do the toot toot. Do a toot toot. Oh, we're gonna need some more air fresh. Oh, we can't have nice things. Yeah, fix that before we hit the road. I remember the first time I made something out of mechanics wire. That little technical difficulty. Elf got the seat pumped up far enough so he could reach up to the uh, air horn and fix the handle on that. And we're back on the road. If anybody's got a gold chain they want to donate so that we can hook onto there. Also, we just gained 15 horsepower. No, not by putting the air filter back in, but we got a new shift knob. Look at that. Vin Diesel would be proud. Good 
Good thing we don't need the AC today. Anybody want to guess what's inside of these? No! Don't you dare! <laughs> so much horsepower! Oh, the old red pecker is just giving her today, just eating it! Oh, yeah! How dare you, Greta? How dare you? I feel overdressed. I wore sleeves. <laughs> we gotta take her down a little gravel first, make sure she's safe and ready. <laughs> 007 got nothing on our smoke screen. Freedom. 